I would like to explain how fatty acids are synthesized in our body. Predominantly occurs in cells of liver, adipose tissue and mammary glands. Pyruvate from glycolysis is an important product for the conversion of carbohydrates into fatty acids. This occurs when pyruvate converts into acetyl-CoA in a mitochondrion. However, this cannot occur directly. What did I mean from this? Acetyl-CoA from pyruvate is not directly used for fatty acid synthesis. To obtain cytosolic acetyl-CoA, cytosolic acetyl-CoA, remember, citrate produced by the condensation of acetyl-CoA with oxaloacetate is removed from the citric acid cycle and carried across the inner mitochondrial membrane into the cytosol. This is citrate shuttle. Now, they are in cytosol cleaved by ATP citrate lyase enzyme into acetyl-CoA and oxaloacetate. Imagine, citrate is like a lemon where we crush and squeeze through a lemon grinder which is known as citrate shuttle, drips into cytosol in its juice form, the cytosolic acetyl-CoA. Now, what happens to the cytosolic acetyl-CoA? The cytosolic acetyl-CoA turns into malonyl-CoA with the help of carbon dioxide and vitamin B7 using acetyl-CoA carboxylase enzyme. So guys, to help you remember, picture acetyl-CoA as anchor butter and malonyl-CoA as margarine butter, where anchor converts to margarine if carbon dioxide and vitamin B7 is supplied. During the process, we also need acetyl-CoA carboxylase enzyme too. Finally, malonyl-CoA turns into fatty acid, for example, a fatty acid like palmitate, which is a 16 carbon chain. So guys, to help you remember again, lemon grinds to spill its juice onto anchor, for thus it converts into margarine, finally resulting fatty acid. If you exercise hard, where energy, ex energy spent is greater than the energy consumed, then you change your outlook on life and make a new person out of you. My dear loved ones, the fatty acid is firstly bound to CoA to form fatty acyl CoA using fatty acid CoA synthase enzyme and then cross the external mitochondrial membrane. From here I'll tell what is carnitine shuttle. I'll come to the point before I explain further, I'll explain what is carnitine shuttle. Carnitine shuttle consists of three enzymes. Carnitine palmitoyl transferase 1, CPT1. Carnitine acyl carnitine translocase, SLC 25A20. Carnitine palmitoyl transferase 2, CPT2. And a small mo soluble molecule, carnitine. Imagine carnitine shuttle is a car with three thieves. Who are the enzymes trying to shift? fatty acyl CoA from cytosol to mitochondrial matrix. What for for beta oxidation? Fatty acyl CoA, all right? Fatty acyl CoA. So this fatty acyl CoA in cytosol exchanges the CoA for carnitine by the action of the enzyme carnitine palmitoyl transferase 1 to form fatty acid carnitine conjugate. So now this complex enter the mitochondrial matrix via facilitated diffusion. How? By carnitine, acyl carnitine translocase enzyme. Picture CT, CPT1 is a driver thief who takes CoA from fatty acyl CoA and replaces it with carnitine. At this moment, CPT1 says, I did my job and says the next thief named carnitine, acyl carnitine translocase in the inner mitochondrial matrix, it's time to pass to mitochondrial matrix. Once the fatty acid carnitine is inside the matrix, CPT2 exchanges CoA for carnitine to produce fatty acid CoA once again, ready to enter fatty acid oxidation in the matrix to produce energy. The free carnitine is transported back out to renew the cytoplasmic pool of carnitine and allow the transfer process to continue. Finally, fatty acyl CoA in matrix undergoes beta oxidation to form acetyl CoA using 
acyl coa dehydrogenases that ultimately goes to Krebs cycle to produce energy or convert to ketone bodies during starvation or diabetes. So can you figure out what is the role played by the third thief after the second thief play? Okay guys, imagine this third thief carnitine palmitoyl transferase 2, CPT2, which removes carnitine from fatty acyl coa, sorry, from fatty acyl carnitine and put back CoA to fatty acid carnitine. And finally, fatty acyl CoA converts to anchor butter as acetyl CoA and distributed to ketone bodies. Imagine bodies as human bodies, just to remember. Okay. And at last, also to TCA cycle, the factory. I hope this lecture would help you. If so, please click the subscribe button to produce more videos. Thank you.